time to play the game. It's the Circling Back Podcast. I'm Dave. Dave, what are you doing? Hosting this here show. Filling in for Will on the hosting duties. Why? Without telling uh, too many tales out of school, Will's got the uh, stomach bug. The dreaded and feared stomach bug. So Finally bad. made its way through the DeFries household. So bad that Sally had to text us on his behalf last night. That's how that's how down bad he was. He couldn't even pick up the phone. So, yeah, I looked at my phone, so I had a text from Sally to Dylan and myself. And I first thing that popped into my head was like maybe some kind of surprise party for Will. I don't I don't know why. I know his birthday is not till January, but I was like, oh, this is like a thing. <clears throat> but it was the opposite. It was uh, full body explosion things. Yeah. Uh, tough, tough time in the DeFreeze household, but, um, hopefully he'll be back the rest of the, the week. We're, we're hopeful. I think he'll be back tomorrow. Yeah. Need some fluids in him. He, uh, Sally's a nurse. So maybe she can hook him up with a little IV. So nurse our boy up. What do you do for that? You just got to wait it out, right? Get liquids in you, rest, bland food. If you can take any, if you can eat at all, you know. Something for the tum tum. Maybe uh, some crackers. Some crackers. Trisket crackers. Sure, it's a texture play. What are the ones that I like that you think are terrible? Y'all roasted me for. Was it was it Trisket? I like. I would never roast you for Triscuits. I love Triscuits. Randy, who roasted me for Triscuits? Triscuits are an old people cracker, so you probably got roasted for that, but it wasn't for me because I love them. I okay. think it was Triscuits. Yeah. Okay. Just making sure. Want to make sure I've got that right because I remember I got I got widely panned. Maybe it was just Will. You put some uh, extra crunchy peanut butter on a Trisky cracker and eat that thing and tell me you're not having a great time. Interesting. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if I've done that. I did peanut butter on apple slices last night. I did that, that yesterday at the pool. Can I just <laughs> can I just do something without oh, you sorry. like trying to one up it at I'm, the pool? I did it in my fucking kitchen alone. I'm sorry. I did it at the pool. I did it in the dark. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dylan Shivery. Uh, you'll notice I'm wearing a hat. I do that a lot, actually. It's time to play the game. But this is a new hat offered by the Wash Media Store. We've sold the uh, dad cap before with the out of office embroidery on it, but this is a new color. New color alert. It's royal blue. It's, it's a like royal a, blue. It's like a faded wash royal blue. White colorway. And it's dope. I think it looks really good. That's why I'm wearing it, just to show y'all how good it looks on me. And it might look almost as good on you. The out of office pops. Yeah. It really does it's pop. It's a great hat. Randy, is it popping for you over and there? And it pops. Yeah. It is now available at washmedia.shop. We got some other new stuff on there too? We do. We have uh, the band tour tee is up. Mm. Um, we also launched a uh, new uh, sweatshirt last week. I don't know what it's, what do you call that? It is kind of a riff on the- um, It's like the vintage college logo. Vintage mascots. Yeah. It looks very like I don't know. It's dope. Fifties, sixties, college era. Yeah, it's got the little. It's a jaguar with a little sailor hat on, which is what. But it's walking around like he people. Mascots do do that sometimes. You know what I mean? They yeah. be doing that. It's cool, man. We've already sold uh, quite a few of them. Check them out. As far as the band shirt goes, if I see you in the wild wearing that shirt, I am going to stop what I'm doing and shake your hand because I know if you are wearing that shirt. You aren't just a casual. You are willing to wear a shirt that is, it features a number of highly niche references from this show that you will have to explain to people. And if you're willing to do that, then I know you're probably day one. If not day one, you're still like a, a ride or die circling back person. So go check that out. Washmedia.shop. The Wilmot shirt. I, I, I didn't know it was embroidery. It looks great. It looks so good. Yeah, we need to do more tie-dye. Agreed. It looks really good. Shout out to whoever sent us that pick. Was that Lucas? It was Lucas. Shout out for that. It looked good. He's a real one. Randy is going to produce today. Yes, I am. Hey, Randy. Hi, Dylan. Hi, Dave. Anything else? I am probably going to play a video game tonight. Time to play the game? S Space Marine 2. It's going to be the biggest game for the next like month or two. So, when's new Call of Duty? I don't know. Space Marine 2. Mm -hmm. um, okay. What goes on in this game? Uh, I'm not really too sure. 
it's part of the Warhammer 40k universe, which is a universe uh, yes. that Obviously. I have not gotten into yet. Very that's familiar. Some, that's some deep nerd shit. Cat this guy doesn't even it. know what Warhammer 40k is. Doesn't even know. Not universe. Yet. Me and old Henry probably going to be playing together. So you boldly proclaim that it's going to be like the biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that? You're going to play it tonight, but you couldn't explain what the game was. The yes. streets are saying? Yeah. I, I, I've seen gameplay and just everyone is really ex excited for the game. My friends have already said like, yeah, we're all going to get it and play it together. It's kind of like Helldivers 2 was, but uh, it's with a more established IP. So I think more people are going to play it and it looks sick. More established IP, he said. I've always, I'm always looking for a more established IP wherever I can get it. Mm -hmm. So okay, Very it's cool. uh, two minutes with Randy. Hey, uh, if you haven't done so already, go check out our Patreon. We got some stuff there, don't we? we got some good stuff there, dude. Sneaky, spooky season is less than a month away. I was thinking about that yesterday. I was on a hot Dave walk yesterday, and I was thinking we got to do something big, man. Is this like the sixth year of spooky season? Maybe fifth? Did we do spooky back in the touching base days? I don't know. Like a no. variation of it? I, no? I'm pr I think you might have done a story or two, but I'm pretty sure the first ever spooky season was 2019. Okay. Yeah, that was old Vape House, huh? I so can't remember. The, yeah, this is the fifth? The fifth year. Fifth year. It's going to be good. And you'll get five of those sixth in October. Year. Sorry, six years. 19, year. 20, 21, 22. 23, 24. There's no way to know for sure. Sixth year of it. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can, if you're a patron, and let's say you're getting into fall, a lot of people are getting into fall now, as we'll find out. Um, you can go listen to all the old spooky seasons. There should be like 30 episodes or something. I don't know, depending on how many Tuesdays are in October in certain years. This is a five Tuesday month. Yeah. It's October, big. Really, October, that is. Really putting a lot of weight on Davy's shoulders, but we're going to do it. We're going to have some fun um some rowdiness as well a lot of fun a lot if you do it to a scale yeah, you know sure if you've got spooky stories and that can be your own personal ghost story maybe something from your town some old folklore or maybe just a new story you saw and maybe i missed it maybe it's not ghost related maybe there's um there's a killing spree in your town that you want to tell us about you know yeah but like a spooky one yeah the spookier, the better, obviously. But yeah. We'll hear about just a good old-fashioned just slasher. Not like a guy who, like, did PCP and then, like, went and started stabbing random people. Like, a, you know, we need a ghost or a supernatural element. But yeah, more, more serial killer than, you know, tragic event. Thank you, Randy. Yeah. Spooky at washedmedia.com. That's spooky at washedmedia.com. Tomorrow, what are we going to do tomorrow? We're going to see if Will's going to be back. I think he's going to be back and ready to rock. Tomorrow is trending cold call. It's giving cold call. Um, we'll see. I bet we'll know this afternoon. And we will announce it on uh, Instagram. So go follow us on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Circling Back Pod, Circling Back Podcast. And then Thursday, we always do listener voicemails. You can hit our pipeline at 888-618-4422. Get in, get out, be tactical. Leave us a voicemail. Quick, under a minute. Uh, give us a little little question, a prompt, maybe a grievance, something good. Don't just call. Look, some people just call, just want to chat. I'd love to call all of you back. I just like talking to people, but I don't have time. I just don't have time. Two kids, it's very tough. Um, but yeah, that'll be Thursday, so check it out. And then we do a newsletter, washed.substack.com. comes out every Friday morning. Last week was particularly strong. We had a little Vortex bottle. We had, uh, what did you do? For what again? The newsletter. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the. I was looking at. The it's time to play the it. game. Um, I wrote about. Uh, oh, I wrote about movies from my childhood that I would like to show my son, who is nine. What was your number one? I didn't rank them. I just listed ten. If you had to. Little Giants. Oh. Little Giants. Cool. He's starting to get into sports a little bit more now. Good choice. Okay. Yeah. Well, what did I write about? What was I complaining about this week? It's always something with me. So you, it's always you don't even read it, you. do you? I don't know how to read. You'll get there, okay. man. How'd you make it this far? It's time for This Weekend in Fun, a recap presented by our good friends at Hesty. Man, I swear to God, every time we get rain... I look around, 
bugs trying to sneak in our house, sneak in the bathtub, they're everywhere. Where would I be without Pesty? We've all been there. You're sitting around, maybe on your bed, and all of a sudden you see like a big old bug. Uh-uh. God forbid, a, cr- a roach. I'm out on that, man. I got a text the other day. There was a cricket loose in the house. I told my, I told Alyssa, it's a cricket. It's a cricket. <laughs> she texted you about a cricket in She the did. House? I, could, I, I swear to God. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I was over at my it's neighbor's place with the dog. I was like, I'm not going to come home for the cricket. Crickets be, um, uh, they're crickets. Check out our good friends at Pesty. With summer winding down and the nights getting colder, spiders, ants, and other bugs are looking to find somewhere warm to nest with Pesty's do-it-yourself pest control. You can make sure they don't choose your house. Pesty is a do-it-yourself pest control company on a mission to provide pro-grade pest control at a fraction of the cost of most pest control companies with Pesty, there's no more waiting all day for the bug guy to show up when you can just spray yourself in a few minutes. Look, other pest control companies charge hundreds of dollars and make one size fits all plan. Pesty makes a customized treatment for you based on your locations, your locations, bugs and climate, plus specific chemicals are rotated so that the bugs don't build up tolerances, which makes it even more effective over time. We just put down our first uh, pesty spray of the season looking forward to it and another thing they don't tell you to say this you don't have to deal with like the the pest guys showing up to your place all the time yeah which is a real beating it takes 10 minutes to apply it's so great 10 minutes 10 minutes it's fantastic oh and here's like probably the best part you don't have to worry about your pet or kids being around pesty it's kid and pet friendly and pesty offers a 100 bug free guarantee or your money back. Seriously, they will refund you if you are not happy with Pesty. Now is the time to protect your home from bugs. For less with Pesty, head to Pesty.com slash Steam and use code Steam for an extra 10% off your order. Once again, that's Pesty, P-E-S-T-I-E dot com backslash Steam for 10% off. And make sure you use our promo code Steam so they know we sent you. Tell them we sent you. Let them know. Dylan, ah. you had yourself a weekend, huh? I, I would just been stacking just excellent weekends, one after another. This was no exception. Um, great weekend. Friday night, just me and the little man. Got some good father-son time in. Hung out. Just a, a typical Friday night in the chivalry household. Saturday, big day, big, big day. Went to my dad's house uh, Saturday morning. Met the sister and brother-in-law, my two little nieces there. And uh, Chelsea was there. Watched a little football game, Texas at Michigan. Pretty confident going in that Texas would would take care of business, and they did not let me down. They looked very, very strong. Uh, I'm really excited about this football team and the the season ahead. It's going to be a really, really good one. I'm I'm hopeful. So that was great. And then the rest of the day, Parks had a buddy over for a sleepover. And that was fun. They played some video games. We went swimming. I took them to Pine House Pizza. Did they play? Um, they did. I know you're wondering if they played their Zaw cards. No, no, no. They both punched them. I wanted to know if they played a game that has established IP. They did. They did that too. Did yeah. they play a game that? They probably um, play Fortnite that has pretty much every IP that's existence right now. I'm assuming, right? They played Fortnite <laughs> in uh, Roblox as well, which is a game I don't really know much about, but it's super popular with the youngsters. Oh, very popular. Is very that like popular. the next new game? Nah, that's it's been sure? around for a while. But that's a kid's game. It's a oh, kid. God. Yeah, it's Fortnite's better. I, mean, I don't know. I got gotcha. you. Uh, Sunday. Just watched a little football, went swimming. I had some apple slices with peanut butter at the pool. Man, you got to give us a little more than that. We don't need the specifics of the apple slices. Were they crunchy? Especially since you already gave it to us, man. We talking at Granny Smith, Honeycrisp? What are we talking? I want more details. Envy apples. Have you had an envy apple before? They're delicious. Try an envy apple, everybody. That's what makes that different. That's my produce tip of the week. What sets that apart from the other apples? It's just very flavorful. Man, I want that even more now that Dylan has it. Check it out. You should check out an Envy Apple. This is non-spawn, by the way. You're not helping, Randy. Envy Apple did not pay me to say this. I'm just saying, try out an Envy Apple if your if your grocery store carries them. H E B certainly does. Best uh, grocery store out there. Anyway, uh, yeah, just re- the rest of the night cooked some cooked some dinner with Chels, and we just kind of hung out and watched the boys, and it was just an excellent. Weekend. My fantasy team also won. I'm just absolutely 
living right now. Time out. Yeah, well, hon, when you say watch the boys. Like your son and his friend, or you or, guys finish the boys? Or the, the Cowboys. Okay. The <laughs> show, <laughs> the boys. Okay. Gotcha. That, that, that does need clarity. That's a good, that's a good <laughs> question, Randy. I watch the boys, and then I watch the boys later. So I watch both the Cowboys and the boys, the show. We have about um, – Four episodes left in seat in the fine in the most recent season. So we're almost we're almost completely caught up. Okay. Great show. Great show. So I've eaten envy apples based upon this uh quick look. And I just thought it was a, a red apple that was faded. It's just a red apple with yellow specks. Oh, I, I got faded over the weekend. You did. Did you want to share that? I mean, you this is your segment. No, I really actually I really didn't get drunk at all over the weekend. I had some drinks, but I didn't get faded. Okay. Uh, yeah, check out the Envy Apple, though. It's a good the, one. The peel is fairly thick and tough, more so than most other apples. The apple has a high juice content and will maintain its firmness while in storage. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When Parks, he loves them too, but I, I peel his apples for him. He doesn't like the, the peel so much. So I'll peel, then I'll slice, put it in his little Ziploc bag, and send him off to school with them. Okay. I do that almost every morning. Very how about, cute. How about your weekend, Davey? Uh, I'm gonna. I want to hear Randy's first. Oh, you're saving yours for. I want to close. Yeah, I want to close. Okay. Um. So I didn't do too much. I did Friday. I mean, a lot of it was getting high and watching the Rings of Power. So that was <laughs> that was uh, that was pretty much Friday and Saturday night. Saturday morning, though. Hey, that show gets a lot of shit online. Yeah, it's because it's. I don't know. I think they like true Tolkien heads like hate it, but I don't know. I, where does I Dylan it. stand on that? All right, where do you stand on it, Dylan? I'm kind of out on it, honestly. I don't know if he's a real Tolkien head. Yeah, I'm not. I don't think he's a real Tolkien head. But uh, Saturday morning, went out to a place called Chalmers Place on the east side to watch the Texas Michigan game with some friends. It's a it's an East Austin original, which doesn't make sense because it opened like a month ago. So it's really I don't understand how you can call your place an original place when you've opened only a month ago. But no, it's good. They have a great frozen Mexican martini, and uh, watch Texas uh, put a put a whoop whoop down, a whoop down, a whoop down on uh, Michigan. Okay. And then I went home, took a nap, and then woke up, and then got high again and watched uh, Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power, and then. Sunday was just pretty much relaxing, doing chores. So it was a pretty quaint weekend. Chalmers. Quaint. Chalmers place, yes. I, I saw you showing up on my Instagram stories, and mm -hmm. I got to admit, given how nice – it was a it was a nice weather morning. Not as nice as today, but it was, it was tolerable. I was a little jealous. I almost threw out a text. It's – nice part of like East Cesar Chavez, where that is, it's a – it's very it's like the new e6 is pretty much old like everyone there was probably over the age of 26 where if you go to little woodrow's and like west six now it's like everyone there is like 22 to 26 it's like this is a little bit older and a little bit you know not as debaucherous would i have been the oldest person there at chalmers place mm -hmm. maybe but i mean it would have been hard to tell like if Dylan was there, obviously he would have been. Yeah. If you and Dylan were there, he would probably have been the oldest person there. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Dave. Well, I'm just for for reference. A lot of people oh, yeah, at home yeah. don't have contact. Sure. Yeah. Um, okay, Randy. Good place. Very cool. What'd I remember do? what I wrote about. I had this, I talked this big game like I was gonna go watch uh Texas State play in San Marcos, and I did have that opportunity. And I was a game time decision. Um I ended up not going. I probably could have gone. Um, Rhodes had a birthday party to attend. Somebody did a birthday party at like 1030 the Saturday morning of Texas, Michigan. Tough. Come on, man. And it was in, it was uh, like 30 minutes east at the Dinosaur Park or whatever. I don't know if you've done that. Oh, yeah. You familiar? That was a big player over COVID for us. Okay. The results were very positive. Parks loved it. Okay. We'll probably be going back, but Alyssa Alyssa took Rhodes, uh, my oldest, to uh, to that. He had a good time, but they didn't get back till like one. And the T State game was at three, and I was like, ah, I could Uber down there, meet my buddies who were there. By this time, they had already been sending me pictures from like the tailgate. They were like at a frat tailgate. They're younger than me by a couple years, but they. I was like, dude, I I don't want to show up to this sober, and like I don't want to like I don't. I don't want to do this. I was 
sent videos of that tailgate by you and also by our friend Mitchell. And it was, it was like, if you do it to a scale, yeah. there was a lot of fun and a lot of rowdiness. Not, so Mitchell didn't go. He was probably sending the same videos I was getting. Probably, yeah. I was going to say, if he went to the game, didn't no, tell I don't, anybody. I don't think he went. Okay. Yeah, so you saw. There's so, like there's like girls ripping flasks, so, shotgun and beers by themselves. There's, so KA, even though the house is gone, they're still very much active on campus? Is that it? The they just got rechartered. Okay. Uh, they were kicked off like five years ago, and their house was demolished. Um, <laughs> it's tough. It is tough. Oh, you do your house. You do the house. Is Did it they bulldoze it? Is it not going to be a, a STEM building? Is to be fair, like it was the only fraternity house on campus. It was sick. I mean, the location. Was the, sick. the house the itself house was an absolute liability, but um, it needed to go. It needed to be part of the school. They needed that land. Who knows? I'm sure somebody made money on that deal. It wasn't us? Certainly not. Um, all those donations. Yeah, but they're they're back, and I guess they they do stuff. I don't know, but um, I just watched college football all day which I know a lot of people did and that doesn't make me unique, but it was, um, I was really flipping around. I mean, I'm watching Texas, Michigan, three o'clock rolls around. I got T state, um, UTSA just destroyed absolute, the road, runners. absolute dismantling of the, the hated road runners. Uh, I had Baylor, Utah, that Utah team is pretty nasty. Big 12 wise. I think they're going to be, um, top dog. Rolled right into the night games. I don't know. I closed it down with old Boise State, Oregon. I mean, it was just a long, a long night. Um, we picked up Popeyes Saturday night. How about that? Damn. What do you ask me the order? When did you was, order? Yeah, it was the order, man. Three piece spicy, jalapeno on the side, fries. All right. Okay. I got no problem with that order. Um, yeah, then Sunday was all about the uh, them boys, man. I didn't really do anything i left i think the only time i really left the house was to go get popeyes which is kind of sad but went on a number of walks did a number of outdoor activities um went outside lobbed some uh lobbed some baseballs to my son Rhodes, who starts t-ball or has season two of t-ball next weekend um he's wanting to swing at some live pitching uh problem is he uh, lets go with a bat and it's real dangerous. So you got you got to really watch out because he likes to take a big cut. He needs to hang on to it. Yeah. Give him some pine tar. Yeah. That's I need to get him a batting do. glove. Two batting gloves. Oh, yeah. You do. Is that too much if he pulls up the T-ball with batting gloves? Probably. It's just, a little extra. Just give him the construction gloves like that one guy. Oh, I should. Or I got gardening gloves. I've got two sets of gardening gloves in the garage. How about that? Um, noticed over the weekend that um, squirrels have eaten through the siding on my chimney uh, for the second time. So we're just going to have to have that entire thing redone, get some uh, masonry work done on there because it's it's becoming a problem. Home ownership, man. Yeah, it's something I never thought about. My parents had, I think their house, their chimney was brick. Definitely was brick. Just never had to worry about that. Pull in the driveway and there's just a hole in the chimney. I'm like, oh, cool. So I don't know if it, for a minute, I, I was like, wait, did that thing just jump down and it's like now running into my house? I don't know. Who knows? I'm sure I'll find out if I get a text from Alyssa, but... Yeah, all in all, it was, uh, it was, it was very low-key. It was very low-key. I'm trying to – it's been such a busy fall, busy August, busy fall coming up that I'm trying to really take advantage of the weekends where we're not out of town. Like We'll be in Louisville like two weeks, right? The 19th. Have ten, you looked at flights? Days. Have you even like began to look at flights? We plan to book today, but since Will's not here, maybe, maybe we can send him a tax and let him know what we're looking at. But we need to do that now. I'm going to be honest with you. We probably need to do it like immediately. The flights I looked at are not great. They're not great. Oh no. So price wise or time wise? Pretty much everything. Wonderful. Yeah. Especially Wonderful. the ones through like if we're gonna book with our points. Oh no, I guess I gotta leave Randy behind. All right. <laughs> well, we were thinking about sending you in like an RV. Uh, we I, should I, road it. We should road trip. I would go there. do an RV if. What's Brett that drives. drive, dude? Uh, we should road trip. Let's let's run an RV. If the, the the damn dumb zone does a road trip to California, we can do Louisville. Brett would love to do that. We I should bet, hop in Will's uh, Will's car. I don't want to do a road trip in like a car. I want to rent like something dope. Can we actually look at that? Yeah. I bet it's a nine hour. No, I bet it is a twelve hour drive. 
Churchill Downs, Central Avenue. Well, it is a okay from from your location. There we go. It is man. This is just type in Louisville. I mean, I mean, it's just it's just it's not working. My, I'll do it. Fourteen fourteen and a half hours. Randy, you just got embarrassed. My my what maps happened? my maps are just uh, just not uh, not working. Which, which map app do you now use? What's your map app? Google app. Oh, that, that's Google, your problem. Google maps. The best is straight up app the Apple one that comes on your phone. It's the best. It used to stink though. It, they've made some significant improvements. It's by far the best. Waze stinks, baby. Google uh, Maps. Not I exclusively as good. use Waze when I'm going home. Shaking my head at you, dude. Okay. Fourteen hours. I think we should look at it. Are you certified to drive an RV? Because I've been certified for a number of years. I'll drive. Randy? Uh, I, I will not step behind that wheel. That's fine by me. Okay, I'm you certified not, to drive all he's not gonna step manner of commercial yeah, vehicle. I will I will be a passenger princess for sure. What is that? It just it's uh it's what girls call themselves when they don't want to drive and they just want their their guy to drive them around. They just want to be a passenger princess. Okay. Very cool. You think Will would want to do that? I don't think he would. I'm not really sure I want to, but it is something we should do. Brett definitely wants to do it. Yeah. I don't yeah, even he think for we need sure to ask him. To. 200, here's one for 200 bucks a day. RV? Okay. It's a Mercedes, too. What? Like a Sprinter van? Or like an actual RV? It's, a, it's an actual RV. When are we going to be there? Are we there Friday through Saturday, Sunday or Thursday through Sunday? Thursday through Sunday. That sounds right. Yeah. Okay. We'll work out the logistics of it. Um, maybe we'll have to go onto a worldwide website and maybe uh, book it. You know what I mean? One that was probably developed by our good friends at Squarespace. Mm -hmm. It's me, the transition guy. Okay. Not the best, but not the worst either. This podcast is brought to, brought to you by our good friends at Squarespace. Back in the day, did you ever try to make a website? You know, that's a, a project I've never really taken on for myself. It, uh, it used to be kind of difficult until uh, our good friends at Squarespace came around. I know that. And now we can do it. Now we have done it. I don't know. If, have you been on Wash Media? No. How do I get there? Go to washmedia.com. Okay. Check it out. The user interface, all of it, all done by Squarespace. Randy, you've get, you've messed around back there. And you're not you're not a very smart guy, but you know how to do it, right? Sure. Very dumb, actually. I didn't mean that, Randy, at all. Wow. Right in the middle of the ad read. Uh, no, our website looks great, and I know Will absolutely loves Squarespace. What I like about it is that it's an all-in-one website platform for entrepreneurs just like us, and it helps us stand out and succeed online, something we've done. Whether you're just starting out or you're managing a growing brand, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything from products to content to time all in one place, all on your terms i can't uh, i didn't want to think about where this company be, would, would be without squarespace will's out he's got a stomach bug let's say i got to go in and do some some typing and a clicking some pointing and a clicking cracking my knuckles maybe just accessing things behind the you know the website squarespace makes it easy because i'm i'm a dumb guy when it comes to tech and i can i can even use squarespace dylan can too it's fantastic squarespace.com go over to squarespace.com for a free trial and when you're ready to launch Go to squarespace.com slash steam to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Again, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash steam to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Check it out. Squarespace. Sip of water here. Yeah, we're now we're getting the meat and potatoes of the episode. Was that a fall play? Something something about your neighbor? Okay. I don't think this guy's a listener. But he does appear to be younger than me. So he might be. Uh, I've got a neighbor. He shares a fence with us. He's right behind us. I've never actually met him. I don't know what he does. I've never been eye to eye to him. I've seen him from a distance when I've been walking down the street. But seems nice enough. He appears to live with another dude, a couple guys, I assume are bachelors. Solar panels, panels on the house. Cool. How old? I, I want to guess Randy's age. So 30. what are you, like 24? I'm 30. Randy's 30. 30. 
Um, they've been doing some backyard gatherings. Not big. Usually Sunday night, they have some people over, some music. I can hear them on the grill, smell the grill, really get some stuff going. It sounds great. It smells great, too. Uh, I noticed that they have been um, doing some work back there. And I saw the – I could tell they were digging something somewhat close to the fence line. And I'm like, what are these guys doing? Well, fall is here, and uh, fall temps are, you know, going to be here right around the corner. Oh, what, I Randy? I, know, I think I know where this is going. Guess. Is he digging out a backyard fire pit? Is this what this is? It's a backyard fire pit. Oh, God. I'm jealous of this guy. Are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm you got picks? I'm going to send Randy... Uh, I'm going to send Randy something. I've been getting served a bunch of, like home ownership stuff and it makes me want to own a home and then i hear about your squirrel situation and i'm like maybe i don't want to own a home but a backyard fire pit being able to dig something out like that i, I always enjoyed those here's the problem this backyard fire pit is oh okay <laughs> what i have deemed to be a little close to my fence our fence our shared fence and i i noticed that before they get this thing up and running it's a video they're hosing down the fence um, here's a video that I took from my backyard. Um, don't hate on the fence. We're due for a new one. Oh, wow. That's right next to your fence. Yeah. It is. Like dangerously close to it. Yeah. And you see if you the, squint, it looks like your fence is, is on fire. On fire. You see the watermarks? By the way, that's a, see that little car. You gave me that for, uh, or you gave oh, yeah. that for his birthday. How cute. Um, the thing's huge too. Like, I, yeah, it's, it's spanning like a long part of the fence. It is. It's a it's a rather large pit that I was unaware of. And after I saw this, I went and popped my head over the next day. And it is not like a professionally done pit. I don't know why. I had it in my mind that they put in some nice deal. It's just like a hole they dug. It has like rocks and stuff. And yeah, so I noticed them hosing down the fence. Which, you know, I guess is the move. But my my thing is, if you're having to do that, if you're like worried about this fe this fence catching on fire, then it's probably too close to the fence. Is that fair? Yeah. So I looked up the fire code because I'm a narc. And uh, it needs to be 15 feet away from the property line. Also, common sense tells you that. Yeah. This is not 15 feet away. This is probably eight feet at the most. Okay. Probably closer than that to our to our shared fence, and so they they dug it out. Did they use stones? Did they place stones around it, or I think yeah, no, but they're not big stones, little guys. Yeah. Also, like, Are you I, they've arc? they've done some fires when it's been windy. I, I get it. There's been a time. There was a time when like a little cool front blew through, and they did one. Problem is, when a cool front blows through, what's that mean? Is the winds picked up? Also, it was maybe uh, what night was this? The last one they they, they did not do this last night or the night before. This is uh, from we the a week ago. So it was probably eighty two. Yeah, not exactly fire weather. No, they're they're really giving it some test runs. Okay, and at this point, I'm like, okay, I know this is going to be a fixture this fall and winter. Mm -hmm. Why else would they have done this? And um, I just, I don't know. I don't know how long I let it go on because like it's it's going to take down the fence. All it takes is a rogue spark. Hell, dude, if it's, we get a week of dry temperature, like my backyard, as you can probably see, has a lot of dead grass in it. Hey, maybe you'll get a new fence out of this. I if mean. If they burn it down, they're going to replace it. I, I'm genuinely worried because like a lot of times I'll do this at like 11 p.m. And if it's like a weeknight. Like a Sunday night, which when they typically do it, I go to bed. Yeah, who, and who's staying up to make sure this thing goes out the right way? Yeah, are they staying up till two a.m.? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully, they're responsible enough to make sure it's out when they go to bed. Yeah, I I think I'm hoping they are, but man, I just I don't really like having to worry about this. I can tell you who doesn't like it: my dog. Like when he's out there and there's just giant flames through the fence. Like, well, I'm not fucking. I'm not going out there. 
It's a whole thing. Have to bring them out front to to take a mondo. I, I I just did a little math here for the people at home that aren't watching and just listening. This isn't just like a little bonfire and like a solo stove. I just did the math based on what your fence posts are. This is an eight foot long fire. <laughs> like I just based on what I did because like each fence post is about four inches. That's eight feet on on your fence line. That is ridiculous. That's ridiculous. I'm not being. I'm not yelling at a cloud, right? No. <laughs> okay. I knew Midwest Randy would have some takes this, on this. This is this is ridiculous. And like this is from what you're describing, that's just a, a hole with rocks and stuff. Like I'm thinking more of the ones that are like dug out and like terraced and like you have the nice uh, I, I, I can find a picture of you. Like it looks nice in the landscape. Yeah. This is just uh I'm not willing to call no. them terrorists, but uh, this, <laughs> this is why you have an HR. <laughs> Terrorist. I, it's bad, yeah. I I think it's reasonable to talk to them or narc on them because that's ridiculous. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna see, and you know they they're experimenting with it, and they know they know there's a potential issue as they're hosing down the fence while they're doing this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a photo of it of it during the day when they're not running it, just to kind of get give you a sense, and I'll bring it back in and show you. But um, yeah, this is something I'm 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 dealing with now. Yeah, um, I would. I also uh, don't like to think of myself as the narc type, but this is this is alarming. And since this is uh, your home and your fence, and it's right, I, I would, I would consider. I don't know. Is is the move to report first or to knock on the door and be like, "Hey guys, I love what you're doing. The fall's here, and it's great, great time of year to be outside." But dangerously close to my fence. I think I'm gonna pop my head over next time they're doing it. I'm just going to step up on the fence and be like, checking it out and being like, You're hey. you uh, Wilson from uh, Home Improvement. Exactly. Yeah. Is it usually this long that like they've they've done this or is this just a one-time deal? That no, this, this is happened? how it's been the two times I've seen it. Okay. This is a big boy fire. Yeah. That's too much. Why don't you just get you a solo stove? We might still have a promo code somewhere out there. Maybe. Yeah, get a solo stove. Easier, safer. Smokeless. You can move it so you don't have to put it right next to a fence. Yeah. Okay, well, I hope, okay. I hope everything turns out okay. Yeah, I just wanted to put this out there. I'm glad. I'm glad I got support here. Yeah, I was worried that it was going to be no. a big to do about nothing. This isn't. This isn't getting a car towed because it's in your spot, narc level. <laughs> <laughs> this is. A, this is a legit concern. Okay. Yeah, I just. I'm it's even honestly. It's even home. closer to their their actual neighbors. Oh really? On the side, yeah. Oh, so they chose like the corner of the of the uh -huh. lot to do this. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, that's, that's uh, that is wild. a very big fire. Because I originally thought it was just this little part, and then you could see it go all the way over yeah. here to their shed. Yeah, yeah. that's facts. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's uh, we'll just we'll, we'll monitor the situation. Where do you stand on the chimenea? Oh, I love a chimenea. Love. Chimenea is a thing in the Midwest. Uh, not many people had them, but I mean, you would see them outside of stores. I, I don't think, think I knew great. anyone that had. I think they're great. One. It gives Southwestern. Yeah. Big fan. I am too. It's um the solo stove is like a smokeless alternative. The chimenea is just more vibey to me. Yeah, agree. It's like a real, real ass fire in there. And it looks like uh it was made, you know, chimeneas kind of give off of like a I don't know, made by hand, ceramic y yeah. looking vibe. Yeah. Who knows if they were probably really dress up your your outdoor patio with, yeah. with the chimney. We need to get Brett. Brett needs to get us a cold brew sponsor and a chimney sponsor like tomorrow. Yeah. He needs to make that shit Just happen. Just so he can get one. You see Kendrick's doing the Super Bowl? I did see that. Yeah. Had you even thought about the halftime show until yesterday? You know, I I really never think about the halftime show. It was about a year ago when we debated whether um Taylor was too big to do. No, was, was it Taylor too big to do like ACL or like a, a festival? Is Kendrick the biggest name in rap currently? Especially since yeah. the Drake stuff went 100%. down, he, he sprung to the top. If he wasn't already, he absolutely near it. is right now. Yeah. Okay, that's a big get then. That's a huge get. The boomers aren't going to like it. No, but they're not like us. So <laughs> <laughs> he did it. The, I, yeah. This is some hip hop guys. The boomers are punching air right now. They've dude. They the ops are particularly upset with yeah. us. Yeah. But to them, I would just say it's time to play the game. Time to play the game. Who right. did it last year? Because two years ago it was Snoop and 50 and all them, right? That was two years ago. Yeah. Who was last year? 
of course it was uh it wasn't rihanna was it um i believe it was rihanna okay yeah. actually i don't really know it was usher rihanna was maybe three years ago then yeah it was it was usher okay so this is they're going current they're going topical we're not doing a nostalgia play no I'm trying to think about like kendrick's first song that i ever heard from him was it was like probably back in 2011 2012 Hard to say, really. But still current, yeah. Um, I like it. I'll watch it. He's going to have to clean up his lyrics a bit. He's going to have to clean them up. Uh, maybe he'll bring some people out. We don't know. He will. Not Drake. Someone else. If he did bring Drake out. That would be a a piece, uh, a beautiful moment. They're holding up the, yeah. the tied together bandanas. Red and, red and blue. Yeah. Could be a big a USA flag and a... Canadian flag. There it is. Finally, these two nations can come together. Could be a beautiful moment. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, okay. This this is good. You, now, can, you can pick one artist for the halftime show. Who's it going to be, Dave? Um, man, you got to think it's Crash Test Dummies. Man, rap live is it's very hit or miss. A lot of rap live is just not great. It belongs in the studio for the most part. Uh, I I would challenge you to I would challenge you to watch some different artists do their their hip hop performance. So Kendrick Kendrick is Kendrick is great live. I saw Jay Z, but I've seen video Jay Z at ACL and he was excellent live. Excellent. He was really good. He was really good. Yeah. Um, I saw Run the Jewels at ACL a couple years ago. They were good. Um, but yeah, Crash Test Dummies probably. Yeah, I agree. I'm a co-sign. Who who would you be? Maybe, Maybe like, like the butthole UB40, surfers. Forty butthole surfers. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Randy? Like uh, I don't dinosaur junior. I don't know. Maybe like the Wiggles. That's fucking. That's very sus. I don't know what. Why, what do you want me to say? Mannequin pussy. Yeah, I did want. I mannequin, was hoping. I was go. hoping you would say that. <laughs> yeah, mannequin yeah, pussy. Yeah, go. a good one. I guess or, I'll go with mannequin pussy or a pussifer. Pussy is it, riot. Is it pussifier? Cannibal Corpse, maybe. Cannibal Corpse probably isn't getting the nod. No, I got to think that's a little too aggressive for that uh, crowd. Yeah, I don't know, man. I was, maybe like uh, Big Head Todd and the Monsters. Okay. Who, who's the, who's the, let's play, the, it's time to play the game guy. Oh, uh, Big Daddy Mark? Yeah, him. I just feel like he's <laughs> pretty limited. I don't know what kind of performance he could put together. We'll see. Uh, no, this is interesting. I mean, you'd think... You think that like with the Drake stuff, I don't know. It's just a little polarizing because there's a lot of there's still a lot of Drake fans out there that don't like Kendrick at all. This is just kind of a this is an interesting move, and it's in New Orleans. You think maybe they would do some local flavor? There's a number of artists from New Orleans that could well, like uh, a Zydeco band. No, I was gonna say like Lil Wayne. Oh. Maybe, maybe Master sick. P. I love Zydeco. KJ really wanted Silk the Shocker, he said. Okay. Which I just feel like wouldn't have been that great of a show. Um, but Zydeco is good. You're right. But I'm New Orleans, a, it's a very, very um, cultured city. Put out a lot of musicians over the years. but They're um, definitely having some marching bands come out for sure. See, I am a proponent of the actual just marching band halftime show. Don't get anybody big. Just bring out like... Local colleges or local high school bands, and let them go out there and do like Louis Louie or whatever. Louie Louie. Oh, 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 you gotta go. Do you like the Mission Impossible theme? How would that go? See, something like that. Something like that would be yeah. great. I love a marching band. Yeah. When they play popular songs, it's, it's cool. It's pretty dope. It is. Okay. Are you gonna boycott? Because I know you're a Drake guy. I got love. I got love for Kendrick. I don't really get too wrapped up in the uh, the beefs, you know. Yeah. I got love for both these guys. You're just like, man. As long as they put out good music, it doesn't really matter to me. That's all right? I care about, man. Okay. Just entertain me. Do you remember where you were during the uh, Janet Jackson Justin Timberlake thing? <sighs> Not really. I was in an apartment. I remember what what we were doing. We were watching it, obviously, but I. Weirdly remember, like, vividly. Is that like 03-ish? When was that? I think 04. 03 or 04. Yeah. Yeah. 
Full titty. Covered nipple, but full titty. Yeah, one of the weirder moments. It was strange. It was very odd. Uncomfortable. I, I remember seeing it. I was I was very young. I was in fourth grade, and I, I said, hey, look, and then I was the only one that see it. Everyone was looking away. I was the only one that saw it. It's the first and last one you ever saw. Yep. It's very tough. Never, not Aww. one since. Oh, well, Wandy. And then like there's just like a big gap, and I can't really remember anything notable happening. I remember the Katy Perry, the Lady Gaga. Mm -hmm. I was uh, at the Super Bowl for Justin Timberlake. Huge letdown. Live. Huge. He was facing the stands on the opposite side of the field from where I was. Okay. I couldn't hear anything, couldn't see anything. I was like, I hope this is good on TV because it stinks here. Okay. It's whatever. Hmm. Forgot you've been to a Super Bowl. Saw Tom Brady lose one live. You, you probably don't, don't need to go to another one, right? No, I don't. It would take a lot. Like if somebody offered you tickets, but you had to like fly your way out there. Like, yeah, we were talking. We, we had okay seats, not great. We were talking to the the Eagles fans next to us. And they're like, yeah, we spent 5000 each on these tickets. Like, That's man. fucking terrible. Okay. It's a lot of money. Nick Foles. Nick Foles. Recently retired. Yeah. Hey, um, speaking of sports, knee-jerk reaction to Brady in the booth. I thought he was good. You did? I thought he was good. I thought he was I thought he got better as the day went on, but I have to say a very, very biting text from my sister. She said his high she didn't realize how high his voice was gonna be. She was disappointed. She said it gave her the ick. She wanted a baritone. She, she got a tenor. She got the ick. Yeah. She Tom Brady's not giving anybody the ick. She gave, he gave my sister the ick with the voice. Okay. But dude, how he looks 30 years old. He looks phenomenal. He's yeah. Is he on adrenochrome? He's on he's doing something. That's not he's not aging. You think naturally. he's got a blood boy? Yeah. Blood boy, some he's definitely he definitely got his hair done years ago. You know that. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Because he was like thinning early in his career, and then the next season he showed up with like this luscious. Mop head. Uh, Randy, do you have any takes? Like, did you think that maybe Brian Hoyer should have gotten the job in the I, booth? I think, I think that Tom Brady's just not eating tomatoes or something like that. I don't know. Mike Glennon, I would probably pick over uh, Brian Hoyer. But also, Nick Foles, another famous bear. He's probably most famous for being on the Bears. Westlake High School. Yeah. Is he moving back here? I don't know why you'd know that. I don't know. Huh. His, his father is a, a restaurateur. Hat Creek? No. Oh, fuck. What's he on? I don't know. I forgot. Something we something we definitely have heard of though. I watched a Chipotle ad the other day, and it's like they're talking to like an actual uh, Chipotle cook, and he's just talking about he's t gassing up the chicken, and he's like, "Chicken, when you walk in, you can hear it sizzling, you can smell it. When you bite into it, it's so juicy and tender." And I'm just sitting here, and I got mad. I had like a a, a visceral reaction. I was like, "Dude, no." It, it fucking sucks now. It and it's it hasn't been good in twelve years, maybe longer. Yeah. And you're just talking about this. I'm like, what you're saying right now is an outright lie. That shit is not good. It's definitely not tender. Some 1984 stuff. The the the, the Orwellian. Yes, Orwellian. The the famous book, the novel. <laughs> Have you read this novel? Yeah, I don't think I've read it. No, I'm supposed mm. to, but I didn't. Maybe you should, bro. Kind of look around and wonder, like, are we living this right now, Randy? Big brother, man. Yeah. Yeah. Time to play the game. The game I've been playing is checking my email and seeing what my spending habits look like. And that's why we've got rocket money. <laughs> that's a good segue, dude. <laughs> Isn't it? It's really good. Man, what I like doing, this is true. This happened to me recently. I go in there and see if I got any subscriptions that I forgot about. There was a, uh, a Dropbox one. I'm just going to add them that I forgot I did the trial for just to upload some stuff in BMW. I got dinged and shout out to Rocket Money for finding it because uh, I had to go cancel it. And that's that's great because you can pay twice for some of this stuff and you don't even realize it. Rocket Money will cancel subscription for you. It's fantastic. And they'll help you with your spending habits. Look, man, I bet you can't name every subscription that you have right now if you had to. I bet there'd be like two no. or three that you're like, Okay, I forgot I had those. Yeah, that applies to pretty much everyone, I think. And maybe, maybe like you forgot about them, but like you still use them and you just don't think about it. But it's still kind of an interesting realization. Um, check it out. Rocket Money is a personal finance app. Helps you find and cancel your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills. 
so you can grow your savings. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions, saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. Look, everybody in this company has used it and saved money. Will had like three different ESPN Plus accounts or something, yeah. which gives me anxiety. Which Every, you don't need. No, you really don't. You just need one. You get alerts if bills increase in price and there's or there's unusual spending activity or if you're close to going over budget it. The new goal goals feature automatically saves money for you without you having to think about it, whether your goal is to pay off credit card debt, put away money for a home, or just build your savings. Rocket Money makes it easy. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash circling. That's rocketmoney.com slash circling. Check it out, rocketmoney.com slash circling. Tell me about Cosm. All right, so Cosm. You have most likely seen videos of this hit your TL. Cosm is the way I, I'm describing it is like the sphere of sporting events. The first time I, this video, or actually I saw one from Kyle Field for the, the Texas A&M Notre Dame game. And it looked like, I was like, oh, wow, I didn't know that Kyle Field had luxury boxes like this because Agreed. it looks like you are at the stadium. It is not. It is a huge screen that sur kind of surrounds like a dome. It's a dome uh, similar to the sphere. And they have these field side cameras that I guess are licensed Cosm cameras that are inside the stadium that they, they pay, obviously, the stadium to. I don't know how it works, but these cameras are right there on the field. And you sit in this, it's a restaurant and bar. They have like tables, they have individual seats that you can purchase. And it looks like you are at the game sitting right next to the field and it looks incredible. There's a video here that Randy's about to play. It's um, from inside the big house when Texas played Michigan. This is and this insane. is, the camera is right behind the goalpost uh, on the side of the field where Texas is about to score a touchdown. And Randy, go ahead and, go ahead and play it. I mean, it looks like you're there, right? It's like being at the um, like you're standing, IMAX theater. Like you're standing underneath the goalpost watching this game live, and the play's coming right at you. Here comes a tight end, Gunner Helm, touchdown, boom. And it, and you see, it looks, I mean, it's incredible. Yeah, this is pretty nuts. Um, I didn't I didn't know this was a thing until I started seeing videos of it surface, but... This is in Dallas. This is in Dallas. I think there are other locations as well. There's definitely an L.A. location. We're going to need an Austin location. But this makes me want to go to Dallas just to check out a game in one of these. Yeah. Um, I'm curious how the, the camera situation, because that's not that's not a, like a, a Fox you know broadcast camera. Or it might be. They just have access to it. I don't know how it works. They pay Fox? Do they pay So it looks like they've Michigan? got the, the television broadcast up in the corner. There. The television broadcast, you're right, is up there, um, a, hang, a TV hanging from inside the dome. But the rest of it is this field side camera it's like completely immersive it looks absolutely insane never seen anything like it so this would be really cool if we like we went as a company and like oh i don't know like me you and will we showed up like on time and brett and randy showed up yeah. like 12 minutes late and we had to get really bad seats. <laughs> they, they put us in the rafters <laughs> yeah i feel like you guys are too harsh on brett for that because he was definitely outside waiting for me no I, we are <laughs> it's, I, I definitely deserve all the blame no for it's that. you it's so your fault i poked around on their website there is a game this friday arizona at kansas state which doesn't feel like it's a, a big ticket football game but it's a good friday night game honestly arizona kansas state big 12 game can I guess what a ticket would cost? Like, yes. Can, like for a whole table? So there are uh, floor seats. I think the best seats are the the first level, which is like an elevated view. Okay. And, and on this level, they have individual seats. They have boots. They have full tables. So I will let you guess the price for this. Um, for Friday, and again, this is a Arizona at Kansas State. If it's a big game, I assuming, I'm assuming the prices go up. I bet a table is... Uh, $55,000. Be for real. So the tables, $55. The tables seat six. And I bet there's a minimum you got to meet. Maybe. There are, the tables are two chairs, a booth, and then Ooh. the table in the middle. Six people can sit there. Yeah, 500 bucks. 
seven fifty nine. Okay. I mean, for six people, I don't think that's terrible. Certainly not cheap. But, I mean, this is the hottest ticket in town, I got to think, at this point. I would rather watch it in my garage with my TV with all the wires visible. Okay. That's interesting. Um, no, this is this is cool. This is cool. And, like, I heard that it's, like, immersive. So, like, the A&M game, like, it felt like you were right there with Michael, Bud Light's ultimate tailgater, yeah. tailgating. Yes. And you, and you watched uh, Notre Dame. Like you, Notre Dame, who, by the way, lost to Northern Illinois, that you watched Notre Dame beat Texas A&M. In College Station at Kyle Field, the toughest place to play, mm -hmm. allegedly. Mm. Those these aren't my words. This is what the internet's saying. That's what I've been ta been told all my. It, my it life. looks wild. It lo I mean, do they do other events. At what point is at what point is like the at home or offsite viewing experience better than like the, the real thing live for an NFL game? <laughs> easily, right? College like your st college still has the atmosphere. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and maybe this is just as a, as a cowboy fan, like look at this. Look I don't want to go to that stadium. Oh yeah, they do other they, they do um, other things other than sports, but I, you th I think sports are probably like the big draw here. And this is a, an MMA fight. I feel like you could get a, a UFC or excuse me, like a a concert. Like a, you could do like a, a Grateful Dead con a Dead and Co concert. Yeah, and it would it. be kind of fun. Like the, the Eras yeah. tour. Here's UFC. I would, they and, would make so much money on an Eras tour here. This UFC. Uh, Fight, it feels like you're sitting on top of the cage, like watching, like looking down in it. Yeah, this is great. Uh, Pretty nuts. I want to check this out. I do too. I really want to do this. Um, damn. I know, right? How do they not have... Like this is going to end up in like a... This needs to be part of a sports book in Vegas. Like this needs to be part of that viewing experience too. Um, It's probably a lot safer than going to like a Raiders game. Raiders Chargers game. Like, sure. I, I, my timeline was just like, I think I saw six different fights just from yesterday. The good news is that um, <laughs> in this one, they, they do like stadium seating so you can get high ground on somebody. If you get in a fist fight inside the cause, I was you, wondering. You can, you can uh, just eat punches from the guy below you. That's really dope. Yeah. And just throw a total of zero punches <laughs> and just bleed all over your shirt. And, and then just look, look, tuck, your tail, and, tuck when, your tail and leave. And it's like, dang, I, I thought I, I thought I could win this fight by just not throwing a single punch. But. I don't know how much uh, food and bev is inside here, but something tells me it's um, expensive. Ooh, like stadium prices for you know beers is what I would guess. Yeah, it looks cool though. Looks cool. If you can, if you have the means, I would check it out. Cosm, especially if you if you're uh, if you live in Dallas and you're a, a fan of a team that maybe aren't they're not playing in Dallas. You don't you know. You want to travel to Michigan for the games? So you're like, oh, I'm just going to go down to Cosm and feel like I'm already there. Do you know anybody who went up for that game? I don't. Texas did travel well, though, but I don't know any. I don't think I know anyone who went. Would have been a fun one. Yeah. Big Would have been man. a fun one. Big house. Um, okay. Uh, any parting words before we uh, head out of here? Just hope we get our, our boy back tomorrow. Willie? Willie boy. Any updates? He texted us earlier. What did he say? It's good news that he's he's actively texting us. Yeah, the fact that he couldn't send the I can't be there tomorrow text is is telling. Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. All the best to our boy. All the best. Okay. We will uh hey, check out too much dip. We're recording that later today. Dylan, KJ, and I, Randy producing. Uh that's gonna be a long episode. We got a lot to get to. Heavy sports. Lots to get to. Heavy sports. But yeah, we'll be back tomorrow, most likely with cold calls with Will. Um, we may have to pivot. If not, maybe we'll do a touching based, just a Dave and Dill edition. But we okay. will uh, see you tomorrow. Either way, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.